My name is Matthew Malone, the team leader of Men's Mechanics, an F1 in schools team. This is the second part of the Wind Tunnel project. It looks somewhat different to the clay apps model that I had started with. For those of you who saw the first video, I was just testing the fan. This is now the final project. The fan is in place inside the wind tunnel with a circuit and the tunnel built. There is another section which differs to the clay apps model. There are reasons for this. I wanted to make the wind tunnel cheaply and during lockdown it was difficult to get the resources needed. We, re we originally tried to build the, the smoke with cinders but with all the cardboard it was unsafe. You can still see the scorch marks on the platform and it didn't produce enough smoke. We had to invest in a smoke machine. However, these machines are designed for parties and propel the smoke forward. It made a big fog inside the tunnel and we would not see anything. So we found a way of containing the smoke by putting the machine inside the car box, which is then sealed with sellotape. The smoke machine is then directed directly into the wind tunnel by five long straws which create the, the nice smoke lines. The funnel is full of short straws which direct ambient air into the, into the tunnel so that no vacuum is created when the fan is turned on. Time for a demonstration. You can see the laminar flow, boundary layer, and wake. You can't really make any big decisions on the shape of your car by using an old fashioned wind tunnel, but still, it was fun to make, and we learned concepts such as the Venturi effect, Reynolds number, and you can do almost anything with sellotape. I'll show you quickly how the smoke machine sits in the box. Here we have the smoke machine and there is the straws that lead directly into the tunnel. We also have the fluid which is non-toxic for the smoke machine. If you want to know how we did in the regional finals of Wales, I have linked in the description the racing show and the award show so you can see how we did. If you want to learn more about mental mechanics and our journey, visit mentalmechanics.co.uk. Happy racing!